Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from the Russian President Vladimir Putin on the occasion of the national holidays. The President praised the historic bilateral relations and expressed keenness to further enhance these relations in all fields, especially the political, economic, investment and cultural fields, in order to maintain the security and stability in the GCC and the Middle East. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from the French President Emmanuel Macron on the occasion of the national holidays. The President praised the historic bilateral relations and expressed keenness to further enhance these relations in all fields, especially the technological, economic and academic fields. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. He praised the successful visit of His Majesty the King to France last April and hailed the outcomes of the visit that included signing a number of agreements that enhanced the cooperation between the two countries. He praised the role of Bahrain in enhancing dialogue through hosting the Manama Dialogue in order to maintain peace, security and stability in the region. Deputy Prime Minister and the Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized the inauguration of the first stage of Ramli Housing Project in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim Al Hamar, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Engineer Wa Al Mubarak, Director General of Operations Department in the Saudi Development Fund, Engineer Faisal Al Ghattani, members of Parliament, and senior officials. Deputy Premier affirmed that the Ramli Project is another achievement to be added in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King following His Majesty's directives to achieve 40,000 housing units. He praised the efforts of government in implementing this project led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and its keenness to provide the suitable housing for citizens. He said that the first stage includes the operation of 1,264 units and the ministry will announce soon the distribution of the units. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah hailed the project, which has a capacity of 27,000 people, that cost 80, 58 million Bahraini dinars, which was funded by the Saudi Development Fund through the Gulf Development Program. He praised the efforts of the Housing Ministry and other ministries in implementing the project, with the follow-up of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure. He affirmed the government keenness to provide citizens stability and complete all projects across the kingdom. The Minister of Housing expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their role in supporting the housing project. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah for inaugurating the first stage of the Ramli project. He added that the second stage will include 3,200 apartments in cooperation with the private sector. The minister said that the project will include health, education and commercial services in order to provide high living standards for the people.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, has stressed that the commemoration day launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is an auspicious national occasion that coincides with the kingdom's celebrations of the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He added that the occasion proves the kingdom's pride and the sacrifices made by the late servicemen while defending the nation and safeguarding the stability, security and peace across the region. He expressed deep pride in the fallen servicemen who lost their lives for the sake of the homeland, stressing that the kingdom will always take care of their families and relatives. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, inaugurated at the Electricity and Water Authority's training center the sixth session of the training program to qualify contractors and consultants specialized in installing solar energy systems to earn an accreditation certificate from AWA. The session was organized by SCA in cooperation with AWA and the United Nations Development Program. The inauguration was attended by the UNDP representative resident in the kingdom as well as a number of officials from AWA and SCA. Dr. Mirza delivered a speech in which he hailed the success of the training program, adding that it stems from the kingdom's keenness on establishing the concepts of sustainable energy in the country as part of the Economic Vision 2030. He highlighted the importance of such programs, which are a result of the efforts of SCA to enhance local cap capabilities and build a qualified and competitive sector in the sustainable development field inside and outside the kingdom. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, participated in the conclusion of the Tunis Capital of Islamic Culture 2019 program. She also took part in the 11th Islamic Conference of Islamic Culture Ministers organized by the Tunisian Ministry of Culture in cooperation with the Islamic Organization for Education, Science and Culture under the patronage of the Tunisian President Qais Saeed. On the sidelines of the first day of the conference, Sheikh Hamey received the award of the Visitor Center of the Pearl Root website, which was awarded the ISESCO Prize as the best cultural project in the context of celebrating the city of Muharraq, the capital of Islamic culture for the year 2018. She thanked the ISESCO for the award, underlining the importance of the annual meeting of Islamic ministers and officials of culture. The Embassy of Bahrain to Kuwait held a ceremony on the occasion of the Kingdom's National Days and commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783, the anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. On the occasion, the charge affairs of the embassy, Mohammed Jassim Sept, extended his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to the people of Bahrain. He expressed pleasure in the presence of various groups of the Kuwaiti society who participated in the celebration. He pointed out that the kingdom has made many advanced achievements in various fields that reflected positively on the kingdom and its people, praising the long-standing fraternal relations between the two countries in addition to its development and progress in all fields. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Khartoum held a ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the Bahraini state during the reign of the founder Ahmed al-Fatah as an Arab Muslim country, the anniversary of its accession to the United Nations as full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. On the occasion, Acting Charged Affairs Councillor Abdullah Rabia extended good wishes to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to the people of Bahrain. The ceremony included a variety of activities including a documentary about Bahrain and national songs highlighting Bahrain's heritage. Marking Bahrain national celebrations, a number of members of the British government and House of Commons expressed their sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. They stressed the vital role played by His Majesty the King to enhance relations and develop coordination and cooperation between Bahrain and the UK for the interest of the two friendly people. It's a delight to be able to send you my best wishes here from London on this, the 20th anniversary of you acceding to the throne of Bahrain. This, your National Day, is a very exciting opportunity for us to reflect on the great friendship that exists between our two countries and to look forward, now that the United Kingdom is leaving the European Union, to how much more we can do together to, to give prosperity and dignity to our two peoples and that they may live in security and happiness. 
Happy anniversary, Your Majesty. Big friend of Bahrain, happy to be here to offer my congratulations for the King's 20th year for Sri I've had the honour and privilege of meeting His Majesty a number of times in Bahrain, in the United Kingdom, and I'm well aware of the presence that he brings to the relationship we have between us. So it's a very warm congratulations to His Majesty on the 20th anniversary of him acceding the throne. And he knows that the foundations of the relationship between our royal families, which he has done so much to enhance, is at the cornerstone of the relationship between the United Kingdom and Bahrain. I wish him a very happy day and many uh, good celebrations of that relationship and of his time on the throne. The Kingdom's Ambassador to France, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar Abdullah, held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day. The event was attended by a number of French officials and members of Parliament, as well as the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Anwar Gargash, a number of ambassadors, UNESCO officials and religious figures. The audience expressed good wishes to the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion, wishing it further progress and prosperity. The non-residing ambassador to Spain, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, hosted a reception and dinner banquet to celebrate the national holidays at the Bahrain Embassy in Spain. The ambassador delivered a speech in which he welcomed the attendees, who included the director of the Middle East and North Africa Directorate, Eva Martinez, director of the ceremonies directorate at Spain's Foreign Ministry, Caridad Batala. Sheikh Fawaz praised the bilateral ties, especially the long-standing relationships between the two royal families, and affirmed the importance of further cooperation in all fields. He praised the achievements of Bahrain in various development, cultural, economic, and commercial fields, and affirmed Bahrain's commitment to women's and youth empowerment, its combating of human trafficking, and its promotion of the values of coexistence and tolerance, all of which enjoy the full support of His Majesty the King. The permanent mission of Bahrain to the United Nations office and other international organizations in Geneva held a reception on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebration of its National Day. The ambassador delivered a speech in which he emphasized the distinguished relationship between Bahrain and the United Nations, which has become more dynamic as a result of the keenness of the leadership and the directions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on positive international coordination for the better of the world and for all. The ambassador also reviewed Bahrain's many celebrations and programs this year, one of which is the centennial of uh, formal education and the celebration of Bahraini Women's Day. He added that the kingdom is rich in religious and cultural diversity and allows all people of all religions to participate in their rituals in peace and security. The Embassy of Bahrain in Thailand held a ceremony marking the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. Ambassador of the Kingdom in Thailand, Ahmed Abdullah Al-Hajri, extended his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He also received a number of senior officials and members of the diplomatic corps who wished the Kingdom continued success. He highlighted the strong relations between Bahrain and Thailand and hailed their development at all levels. He noted the recent visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa to Bangkok, where he signed the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to consolidate cooperation and encourage dialogue with all civilizations, cultures and religions.